The 4034 Challenger II is a third-generation British main battle tank in service with the armies of the United Kingdom and Oman. It was designed and built by the British company Vickers Defense Systems, now known as BAE Systems Land and Armaments. This tank was developed as a private venture to replace the previous Chieftain main battle tank and is a further development of the Challenger I. The Challenger II is the British Army's main battle tank, which entered service in 1998. One of its strengths lies in its ability to shock the enemy under pressure by a rapid and fully committed advance, causing them to break and retreat. This form of maneuver has been present on the battlefield for centuries and was previously the role of horse-mounted cavalry. The industrialization of warfare and the need for greater protection on an increasingly lethal battlefield makes the tank an essential part of the modern army. The mere presence of a tank on the battlefield, or even the suspicion of one, can significantly boost the morale of its troops while simultaneously undermining that of the enemy in both offensive and defensive situations. Although the hull and automotive parts of the Challenger II are based upon that of its predecessor, Challenger I, the new tank incorporates over 150 improvements, which have achieved substantially increased reliability and ease of maintenance. This tank is one of the most protected tanks in the world. It provides a very high level of protection against direct fire weapons. The design of Challenger 2 has given emphasis to crew safety and tank survivability. The tank has a crew of four, with a driver located at the center front of the hull, and the three crew members in the turret with the commander seated on the right, the gunner forward and below the commander, and the loader on the left side. The turret is protected with second-generation Chobham armor, also known as Dorchester, which provides increased resistance to penetration by anti-tank weapons. The tank is also protected against nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare by an NBC protection system with full overpressure filtered air located in the turret bustle. The commander has a roof-mounted Sagem stabilized sight, which is similar to that installed on the French Giot Industries Leclerc mobile battle tank. It gives full 360-degree capability without having to move the head. This has a magnification of 3.2 and 10.5 times in the day mode and also has a laser rangefinder. The main armament of the Challenger II consists of a 120mm, 55 caliber long rifled tank gun designated the L30A1, fitted with a thermal sleeve, fume extractor, and a muzzle reference system. This gun is capable of firing a wide variety of standard NATO 120mm tank munitions. The gun is loaded manually and has an effective range of fire with armor-piercing rounds of over 3,000 meters. The Challenger gun claims the longest distance tank kill in history. During the Gulf War, it defeated an Iraqi tank at a range of 4 kilometers. Mounted coaxially, to the left of the main armament is the ATK Gun Systems Company 7.62mm chain gun, which is already in service with the British Army and installed in the now Alvis Vickers Warrior mechanized combat vehicle. Mounted on either side of the turret front is a bank of 566mm Thales AFV Systems electrically operated smoke grenade dischargers that cover the forward arc of the vehicle. One more 7.62mm machine gun can be found mounted on the loader hatch. The Challenger II has a 12-cylinder, 1200-horsepower Perkins Caterpillar CV-12 diesel engine and a David Brown TN-54 gearbox with six forward and two reverse gears. The vehicle is suspended on top of a hydropneumatic suspension system of second-generation Hydrogus development. The tank has six aluminum road wheels and the drive sprocket at the rear, idler at the front, and two track return rollers on either side. The upper part of the track is covered by conventional aluminum skirts. 
The maximum speed by road is 59 km per hour and 40 km per hour cross-country. Thanks to a fuel capacity of 1,592 liters, its maximal operational range is given as 450 km by road and 250 km cross-country on internal fuel only. It could also receive rear external fuel drums for a 550 km range. This tank weighs in at 62,200 kg, and despite the increase of weight to its predecessor, it has similar cross-country performance. Currently, a squadron of Challenger 2 tanks is deployed in Estonia, where they have a leading role in NATO's enhanced forward presence in the Baltic states. This deployment seeks to enhance Euro-Atlantic security, reassure the allies, and deter the adversaries. The Challenger 2 entered service in 1998, and the last was delivered in 2002, and it is expected to remain in service until 2035. However, a 2001 British military document stated there was no intent to replace the Challenger 2 in the absence of foreseeable conventional threats in the future. The evolution process consists of today in improving the digital warfare capability and awareness with better communications with other components in the field. Due to the rapid progress in digital storage, this equipment, thanks to modularity, can be changed on a regular basis. Another improvement concerns the nuclear, biological, and chemical system with a regenerative system, complete with a roof-mounted, remote-controlled general-purpose machine gun and additional cameras. In 2008, there was the Capability Sustainment Program, which attempted to have all programs fused into one, including later the Challenger 2 Life Extension Program. In March 2021, the British Army announced plans to upgrade 148 Challenger 2s under the Life Extension Program. With the aim to extend its service life out to at least 2035, these upgraded models will be known as Challenger 3 and were first unveiled in 2021. Following Britain's exit from the European Union, early in 2021, the UK entered talks to be allowed into the European main battle tank project as an observer. This may have a bearing on future replacement of the Challenger 3. What are your thoughts on the Challenger 2? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.